Hello lads, this is a follow-up video. Yesterday I didn't really talk all too much about how to boost your immune system and uh, I think that could be a good timing, if anything, to talk about now. So, first and foremost, I will say that since I issued a wild hunt challenge in honor of Mars, since it's the month of March, Apollo might have gotten a bit jealous, so we need to honor Apollo now by taking measures to boost our immune system. So uh, anyway, speaking of the March challenge, I suppose it's been cancelled or if you want to do some shadow boxing and you know training at home you can of course do so as well, but I wouldn't recommend that you continue training martial arts at a, at a club where people are coming and going, except if you are in a in a safe country, that is. For me personally, I will not go to do any grappling or Thai boxing or anything for a while. So I'll just do some other exercises. I might go to the gym, I don't know yet. Otherwise I'll do some cardio in the forest, just, you know, regular running, always uh, good to do anyway. So, yeah, the wild hunt challenge, it's been altered at least if not um, cancelled. So anyway, I wanted to talk about how you can boost your immune system. Now of course, keep in mind, this isn't a complete 100% guaranteed to safeguard you against coronavirus, etc. But it can be good to know at least. So yesterday I mentioned briefly hygiene. And that's ultimately the best defense. You know, wash your hands as often as possible. Uh, be thorough when you shower, especially if you have been grappling with a lot of other people. Um, you know, make sure to wash through your hair and everything like that because, you know, there's a lot of contact areas. So that's the first part. And again, I will mention it in this video as well. You know, hand sanitizer, um, alcohol gel, I have it in with me at most times. Um, always good to have. So even if you're out and you, you know, out in public and you touch something, it can be good to just use alcohol gel to be on the safe side. Um, better safe than sorry. It's a good motto to live by in these times. So you can also, of course, be extra careful with soap, use it every time you get home or every time you have the opportunity if you haven't washed your hands in a while because if you imagine how much you touch during the day and then you might you might not even be aware of it but you probably touch your face quite often for whatever reason you know to scratch yourself or to whatever so hand hygiene extremely important then also wash your face especially again if you have been training hard you know behind your ears etc can be a lot of accumulated things there so uh, yeah that's the main thing then of course in terms of your diet and supplements you have first and foremost vitamin D which I'm getting now from my friend Helios so I'm gonna do this to get additional vitamin D if you don't have any sun, you can of course supplement with vitamin D. I've supplemented with vitamin D for seven or eight years now. It's been the best decision for my immune system. Um, the, the largest difference in my immune system, supplementation with vitamin D. Then of course you don't really need it if it's really sunny outside, but uh, I don't know how the weather is where you are at. So um, just throwing it out there. Then also, Zinc, it's a great supplement to take. Uh, boosts the immune system, also good for your testosterone production. And it's also good if you're planning to have children, etc. It's good for your libido. Then also in terms of your diet, you should of course try to avoid bad foods. And I suppose everyone knows what I mean when I say bad food, you know, a lot of added sugar foods that do not really add any nutritional value to you. Um, 
something completely unrelated. I don't know if this will look aesthetic in the video, but it looks aesthetic to my eye now at least. So let's have a look. Let me know in the comments if you thought this little gathering of water was uh, aesthetic or not. I must admit I, I do find it aesthetic. Anyway, so the food itself, of course, tried to keep it clean, tried to eat good solid foods, you know, meat, eggs, etc. Try to avoid sugar. Uh, this isn't the video about food, but you know, try to keep it clean. And uh, then of course another hugely important aspect is sleep. We talked about this a lot before but do try to get as much sleep as possible. It uh, works wonders for everything in your body. If you want to increase your life quality in basically all different areas, try to sleep better, try to sleep more. That will also let your immune system be um, be stronger. Then also something I saw on Twitter earlier today. The evil Pornhub have given free access to their premium membership to all Italians. How generous and kind of them. They can now dishonor themselves by fapping to porn instead of trying to look out for their well-being. Now when it comes to fapping, when it comes to unleashing the breath of your dragon, so to speak, imagine how powerful that is. You know, it's supposed to create life. It has enough nutrients and energy to create life. Imagine how powerful that is. If you spend that energy, all of those minerals and, you know, powerful stuff, if you spend it or if you waste it by fapping the porn for example, yeah you will deplete yourself, you will deplete your body from stuff that could be used to bolster your immune system. So yeah again, don't, uh, don't fap the porn and uh, Pornhub will be banned eventually when uh, the current regimes the current corrupt regimes of the West are being replaced. Because it's not rocket science understanding that porn is bad for you. It's not something, it's not a hard moral dilemma we're facing. Oh, is it free speech? Is it freedom of expression? No, it's not. It's just bad. So that is also something. Don't be a coomer. Save that vital energy to heal, to bolster your immune system instead. So anyway, that was just a short little extra video on immune, your immune system. So, thank you for watching. XXO, boom.